Well, hello everybody, and welcome to part three. And while I would normally give you a much longer opening than that, yeah, as you can see from the thumbnail, we're gonna have a busy one here today. If I can get what I need to get done, done. For you see, folks, in just a few short days, we're about to have ourselves another double full moon night. And if you were following along last week, you know what that's about to mean for us. 16 entire minutes of where Wilba means 16 minutes of running around like a mad woman killing the two biggest bads of Don't Starve Hamlet, am I right? But with that comes healing. A question of it, I suppose, which is why I was collecting a whole bunch of veggies, everybody. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy some healing, I'm going to make some healing, and by the time that's done, we should probably be ready to roll. Oh, shoot. I was literally just about to tell you guys, oh yeah, we're also going to have to worry about um, Lush Season. And then Lush Season showed up. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, let's worry about that now, I guess. And damn, I was just about to show you guys another new recipe too. Well, I am gonna make nettle rolls. Absolutely. There's actually a more efficient way to combat uh, hay fever with food now. But uh, yeah, let me go kill some stuff real quick. Holy lag, Batman. Yeah, I'm not sure the game is um, prepared. I'm also going the wrong way. I'm not sure the game is prepared to handle lush season, all these bramble vines, and nighttime. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, times two. You know what I just did, everybody? I just left the key to the city on the palace island. <laughs> Remember last week when I showed you at the end how I can break lanterns and just get more lanterns? Right. I left the key in the freaking middle of the freaking thing. Great job, Beard. Genius. But hey, at least I can show you this. Say hello to meated nettles, everybody. A new recipe. And yeah, we only need two nettles to make it, and it's actually kind of better stats-wise versus regular nettles. It's good stuff. But these bouts are right around the corner, folks, so let's not dilly-dally much longer. Let's make sure we got what we got. We gotta buy what we gotta buy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Probably don't need this anymore. But we will be taking all of this. Nice, nice, good start. New. No, I was really hoping you were gonna keep it going, but hey, we can see. Let's buy some of this. Let's buy some of this. Listen, girl, just keep selling that stuff. No! Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I could get lucky. I have all this money. I really don't know what I'm gonna be using this money for in this playthrough. <laughs> I could get lucky, could maybe get more coffee before this fight, it'd be kind of fun. What a very selection, Hastings. Do you expect me to get poisoned? Like, I feel like the game's telling me something here. <laughs> okay, this is fine, this is good. Didn't get any coffee, but yeah, we have freaking healings out the wazoo right now. You know what? I'm actually probably just gonna eat this too. And you know, I think that will do us, folks. We have what we need. I'll cook some more stuff anyway, maybe now mostly for food so I don't starve over 16 minutes, especially as we're gonna be fighting some bosses. Maybe I'll get some of these brambles that are on screen because there's bloody two of them right here. But we have a mat hill right outside base and it also just so happens to be right near the Puckless Island thing and we already know where this guy is. Now, I'm starting to have second thoughts about whether or not Wilbur can actually interact with the water of the Fountain of Youth, but, uh, hey, <laughs> we'll figure out when we get there. And you know, I think we're gonna have fun with these brambles this time, as again, this is not a normal playthrough. I actually have nettles already. Yeah. Let's do option number two. All right, never mind. Maybe we'll do the brambles after we do the fights, because sometimes I forget some crockpot dishes take ages to finish up. Oh, and here we are, a little premature on the sneezums earlier, but I had to clear some inventory anyway. But meaded nettles it is, everybody. Ugh. So, so good. And so it begins, everybody. Backpack is back home at base, safe and sound. Let's bloody go. Oh, hello, friend. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I will hit you right now. I right, hit this, hit this, hit this. Go, 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 go. Unfortunately for us, every single mant is gonna hate us, which is normally something we don't have to worry about. But with our speed, I think we'd be all right. But everything is still freaking random, so you never know what you're gonna find. Oh boy, not having much luck, folks. Haven't found it yet, and yep, I'm running in all these freaking punches. Oh, pfft. Great, another freaking entryway. No, 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 not what we're looking for. All right, good, great, perfect. This is exactly what we needed to have happen, everybody. Haven't found it yet. Oh, no, 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 wasting time. It's seriously in the one direction I didn't go. <laughs> 
<laughs> You've got to be joking me. Found it. Okay, jeez, little freaking wheeze. But man, did I take a lot of unnecessary damage for that. But here we go, folks. Here we go. Queen Womat coming right up. And yep, you guys are pissed off. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, no, you can't do this anymore. You might hear your character slashing. You won't hit anything. I'm pretty sure this uh, throne glitch background thing yeah, doesn't work anymore. Clay took it away. So why am I wasting time telling you all this? Yeah, great question. Um, slight problem though. Yeah, I kind of got hit by every single freaking earthquake thing ever. So yeah, we're kind of in a bad position here. Kind of in a bad position, but I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, let's not. Oh, you came out of the thing. Don't get poisoned. Don't get poisoned. Yeah, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. All right, pay attention. Pay attention. I'm getting hit by everything. This is actually, I just got poisoned. Uh oh. Uh-oh, and now I'm frozen. Now I'm frozen, now she's doing this. I am about to die. I am about to, I'm. All right then. <laughs> you know what? Best laid plans, am I right? I had a wonderful idea of doing both the Queen Womant and the Pugilisk as Werewilba, but I probably really should have went with the Pugilisk first because that is way, way easier. <laughs> This one was just a hodgepodge of things. I tried to show you a thing that couldn't work. I threw off the cycle of a thing. I got poisoned and then I got bonked in the head by everything. Yep, that was doomed from the start. Absolutely should have taken down the Pugilist first. Absolutely should have planned a little better for the Queen Womat. But hey, I gotta be honest, at the end of the day, not a lot of people were watching this series anyway, so yeah. And to be fair, we had also already conquered lights. We had it infinitely in the palm of our hands with just two items. Yeah, Don't Starve Hamlet Lights Out was kind of already in the bag. We just kind of did a dumb dumb with the boss fights and yada yada. It happens. I actually like to show you guys a bit of failure here and there. But thanks for watching, folks. So well, which is wall. Absolutely, the game was trying to tell me that we were going to die to poison. And I'll see you with whatever comes next. Bye-bye.